Today we will be taking about Gachatubers who quit Gacha community. There are a lot of hidden names that you would not expect, they had some great potential and each one of them had their reasons to quit. Some quit without reason, some quit for valid reasons, some were forced to quit but we are not here to judge, let's get started with our video. Firstly, let's talk about Vin, a really popular Gachatuber. He's got almost 540,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 100 million views. That's huge. Vin's also known on TikTok, but he's had a bit of trouble there and got banned a few times for not following their rules. But here's the big news. Vin just announced he's quitting the Gacha community. This was a total shock for everyone. His fans and the whole Gacha world didn't see this coming. Vin leaving is a big deal because he's been such a big part of the Gacha scene. We don't know all the reasons why he decided to leave, but it's made a lot of his fans really sad. Vince made a lot of cool stuff and he's gonna be missed in the gacha community. Lento Tali was a big name in the gacha community, especially when it was just starting to get popular. He was really important in the early days of gacha. With over 550,000 subscribers on YouTube, Lento Tali was super popular and could have been one of the top gacha tubers. But then something serious happened. Len totally got caught up in a scandal where he was exposed for doing some really bad things, things that you just can't do. Because of this, he faced a lot of backlash from the community. What he did was wrong and it forced him to quit making gacha videos. Now Len Totali is no longer part of the gacha community. He's just a memory on YouTube. It's a real shame because he had the potential to be one of the best, but he made some bad choices. Hatsumeru was another prominent figure in the gacha community, known for her significant talent as a gacha duber. She had a large following with over 850,000 subscribers, marking her as one of the most popular creators in the gacha world. Her videos were well loved by many and she played a key role in the community. However, Hatsumeru's career took a drastic turn following a serious scandal. It was revealed that she had engaged in inappropriate behavior and the news quickly spread among her fans and the wider community. As a result of these revelations, she faced immediate and widespread backlash. In response to the controversy, Hatsume Ru took swift action. She deleted all her videos and social media accounts, effectively erasing her online presence. Following this, she made an announcement in a community post, starting her decision to leave the gacha community. This decision was Sudin, but given the circumstances, it seemed to be the only course of action she could take. Her departure was a significant loss for the gacha community. Hatsume Ru was a highly talented creator and her absence left a void. Unfortunately, due to her actions, the community will no longer be able to enjoy new content from her. Her situation serves as a reminder of how quickly things can change in the online world and the impact that personal actions can have on a public career. Cute Spud was a well-known gacha tuber, famous for her gacha life mini-movies, particularly her series titled That One Mute Girl. She had a significant following with over 370,000 subscribers and around 33 million views on YouTube. However, Cute Spud's presence in the gacha community took a mysterious turn when she suddenly stopped posting content and essentially disappeared from the online world. For years, her channel remained inactive, leaving her fans and the community wondering about her whereabouts and the reasons behind her sudden absence. During this time, another channel surfaced under her name, posting a video claiming to be the real Cute Spud. This video, posted about a year ago, stated that she no longer had access to her original channel. However, there's been a lot of uncertainty and no clear confirmation about the authenticity of this claim. Cute Spud's disappearance and the lack of clarity surrounding her situation have left a notable gap in the gacha community. Her unique content and storytelling were highly appreciated and her absence is felt by her fans and fellow gacha tubers. The mystery of what really happened to Cute Spud and whether the claims made by the other channel are true remains unsolved adding to the intrigue surrounding her legacy in the gacha world. Her departure, under such unclear circumstances, is indeed a significant loss to the community. Milly is a name that stands out in the gacha community. Known as one of the biggest gacha tubers ever, she has made a significant impact with over 1.2 million subscribers and about 100 million views. Her work set a high standard in the world of gacha showcasing incredible editing skills that earned her the reputation of being one of the best editors in the gacha community. Her videos were not just popular, they were a benchmark for quality and creativity. 
making her a beloved figure among Gacha fans. However, Millie's presence has been noticeably absent for over a year, as she hasn't uploaded any new content on her channel. This prolonged silence has led many to believe that she might not return to creating gacha content. Her absence is deeply felt within the community. Milian's unique style and creativity left a lasting impression and her departure from active content creation has been a significant loss. Fans and fellow gacha tubers miss her presence and contributions and there's a shared hope that perhaps one day she might make a comeback. Mili's legacy in the gacha world remains strong and her return, should it ever happen, would be a highly anticipated event for the community. It's Lindy Gacha is a name well known among gacha tubers, especially noted for her contributions during the initial stages of the gacha community. With over 600,000 subscribers and a total of 96 videos, she has been a significant figure in the world of gacha particularly inspiring for many who were just starting out in the community, including you. Her content mainly focused on Gacha Life mini-movies, a format that resonated with a wide audience and helped pave the way for new content creators in the Gacha scene. Her videos were not just entertainment, they were a source of inspiration, showcasing the creative possibilities within the Gacha universe. However, recently, It's Lindy Gacha's presence in the community has dwindled. She now uploads very sporadically, about once a year, which has led to speculation that she might be on the verge of quitting. This uncertainty has left her fans and fellow gacha tubers in a state of hope that she won't completely leave the community. The potential departure of It's Lindy Gacha is a matter of concern for many who have followed her work and have been inspired by her creativity. Her influence in the early days of the gacha community is undeniable, and her absence would be a significant loss. Midori Stories holds a special place in the gacha community as one of its first big names. Known for creating mini-movies with exceptional quality, they truly set a high standard in the world of gacha content. With a subscriber base of 300,000 and over 50 videos on their channel, Midori Stories made a lasting impact on the community. Their videos stood out for their high quality, engaging storytelling and creative flair, making them a favorite among gacha fans. The level of detail and care put into each mini-movie was evident, and they played a significant role in shaping what gacha content could look like, inspiring many others in the community. However, it's been a long time since Midori Stories has uploaded any new content, leading to speculation that they might not return to the gacha community. The absence of Midori Stories from the gacha scene is notable, as their unique approach to storytelling and video production was a key part of what made the early gacha community so vibrant and diverse. While it seems we might not see new content from them, the legacy of Midori Stories' work remains, continuing to inspire and entertain those in the gacha community. Sadi Shadow is a name many older fans in the gacha community will recognize. He was a key player in the community, known for his impactful and creative content. With over 500,000 subscribers, his influence and talent were clear. However, he has stepped away from the gacha community and stopped making content. His last video was uploaded two years ago. It's a significant loss for the community as he was a very talented content creator whose work won't be seen anymore. Nehema Rahman is a name that resonates strongly within the gacha community, especially in recent times. Known as one of the biggest names in the gacha world, her influence and popularity are undeniable. However, there's been a noticeable decrease in activity on her channels lately, leading to speculation that she may have quit the gacha community. With over 1 million subscribers, Nehema's impact on the gacha community is substantial. She stands as the most watched content creator in the gacha community in terms of views, a testament to her appeal and the quality of her content. Her potential departure raises questions. Is this just a temporary break or could it signify permanent leave from the community? This uncertainty leaves fans and fellow creators in a state of anticipation, wondering about the future of her channel and her involvement in the gacha community. Lily is a well-known figure in the gacha community, particularly famous for her mini-movies during the Gacha Life and Gacha Club era. As one of the top creators, she has a substantial following with over 1 million subscribers. However, lately, she hasn't been uploading much and her views have declined. Despite her status as a major name in the community, it seems she's not producing much content anymore, leading to speculation that she may have quit. Fans are holding on to hope 
that she might return to the gacha community in the future. Magical K stands out as an early pioneer in the gacha community, having contributed significantly during his formative years. With a following of over 200,000 subscribers, they were not just a popular channel but also an influential one, known for their creative and engaging videos. Their content resonated with a wide audience, adding richness and diversity to the gacha community. The quality and creativity of their videos were appreciated by many, making them a notable figure among gacha tubers. However, for a considerable time now, Magical Case has been absent from the gacha scene. They haven't uploaded any new videos, leading to the conclusion that they have moved on from the gacha community. This departure has been a loss for fans and fellow content creators alike, as Magical Case's contributions were a significant part of the early growth and popularity of gacha content. Venus was a prominent figure in the gacha community, especially known for her Gacha Life mini-movies. During her active period, she was incredibly popular and stood out as one of the big names in the world of gacha. She garnered a significant following with over 250,000 subscribers, marking her as one of the potential top gacha tubers. Despite her popularity and influence, Venus made the decision to leave the gacha community. Her departure was somewhat abrupt, and she didn't share much information about her reasons for leaving. This sudden exit left many in the community surprised and curious. Her contribution to the gacha community, particularly during the height of Gacha Life mini-movies, was significant. Venus' absence is felt among her fans and fellow creators, as she was a key player in the growth and popularity of gacha content during her active years. Her decision to quit has been a talking point among gacha enthusiasts marking the end of an era for her channel and leaving a legacy in the community. Milk Tea is another notable name among the early creators of Gacha Life mini-movies. Recognized for her contributions to the Gacha community, she built a significant following evidenced by her more than 300,000 subscribers. However, after experiencing a drop in views, Milk Tea made the decision to step away from the Gacha community. It's been over a year since Milk Tea last uploaded content, signaling a prolonged absence from the gacha scene. Her decision to quit came after noticing a decline in the engagement with her videos, a factor that many content creators face. Milk Tea's departure marks the end of a chapter for her channel, leaving her subscribers and fans of her work in the gacha community without new content. Her influence during her active period, particularly in the realm of gacha life mini-movies, was substantial. Her absence is a reminder of the ever-changing landscape of online content creation, where viewer trends and engagement can significantly impact creators' presence and decisions. 